Wagwan, rude boys. Yo, Wagwan, how are you doing? Welcome back to Physic Talks. Thank you so much for joining me. By the way, guys, I've got a new channel. It's called The Cynical Critic. Uh, link will be in the description. It's going to be where I'm going to be putting all my movie review stuff. Um, at some point, it's tricky moving over to a new channel. There are so many different factors that make it a very hard thing to do. So please do check out that new channel. There's going to be loads of stuff on there. Movie reviews, TV reviews, Netflix stuff, uh, all, all that good stuff. So, today, we're going to be talking about a couple different things. We're going to have just a little, little chat about some things. So, first on the list is Social Repose has now left YouTube. <sighs> what, a, what a crying shame that is. I'm just, I'm in pieces over that. I'm in pieces, guys. Reese's pieces, some might say. And I bet you are as well. I bet everyone is. Everyone's probably... Sh just destroyed by this news. No, not really. Um, no one cares at all. The video only got 58,000 views. It's really interesting, you know, how um, similar Social Repose and Anision are in many ways. And their channels have been completely wrecked in very, very similar ways. They've both lost huge, huge amounts of subscribers. Well, they, they haven't really. They've just now gained many inactive subscribers so they still have um you know a sub count of millions but most of those are completely inactive um so let's take a little peek at what he has to say about all of this i'm going on hiatus now what exactly does that mean well i'm not going to be posting any content on here or kind of anywhere at least anything new for the foreseeable future now, I'm sure some of you have seen this coming for, for months now. It, it's been quite obvious, at least to the, to the outsiders looking in, but I've been posting videos on this channel regularly, several times a week, for three and a half, almost four years now. I've been doing it as like a full-time job. And for the most part, it's been incredibly fulfilling. It's been a blast. It's been so much fun. Yeah. It is. It is a blast. It is so much fun until you stop making content that's just fun and enjoyable and you start digging at people, wrecking people's lives, making horrible, uh, hateful content about people. Yeah, you're going to run into some issues. And I'm uh, sorry, but it's not like a part of the cycle or whatever you've done this to yourself you've wrecked your own channel with your horrible sociopathic behavior and yeah great idea it's really definitely the right thing to do to walk away from this for the foreseeable future i really feel that's like what anision should do well what anision should have done is move over to his new channel which he was supposed to do ages ago but because he loves money more than anything else he hasn't done that so he's just carried on making content so that's social repose going on hiatus for the foreseeable future the video had 1000 dislikes but 3,400 likes, so not bad at all. Following this, we have uh, Onision with a video called Ugly to Pretty. Um, I just want to show you guys a bit of this because this is the kind of content that Onision makes that people don't really talk about, but it's the kind of content he makes that I despise. It really does my head in because he is so horribly demeaning to young children. <laughs> and it seems to get ignored. So I want to show you an example of what I'm talking about. It's pretty bad. The video is called Ugly to Pretty. It's basically looking at before and after shots of girls that have gone from being ugly to pretty or whatever. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Let's just take a look. Ugly to pretty. This this actually doesn't look ugly at all. It just looks like a girl who was uh, beaten by her dad or something. This was called Ugly to Pretty. The title, Zero to Hero Transformation Ugly to Pretty. I'm confused because this right here uh, is, is a normal person. It's completely fine. And then this girl goes, oh yeah, now I'm just so much better than my former self. My former self is a rat. Speaking of rats, I'm pretty sure this woman is a terrible human being in real life and she's always been a BIT bit. What, what was that? What the hell was that? Anision, this this is like a, I don't know, like a 12 year old girl and you're saying she's probably the scum of the earth, a horrible person, a complete bitch. What? Where did that even come from? You didn't even comment on the pictures, you just said she's a horrible person. Whatever. 
Additionally, this isn't ugly to pretty. It's just kind of like basic to tries too hard. You hear me? I say tries too hard. Stop trying so hard. This is absolutely just your opinion though, isn't it, Anision? Because what you're doing is you're looking at images of before and after shots. If you've just seen her with her makeup on, you wouldn't say she's trying too hard. It's just a girl who wants to put on some makeup. Sometimes makeup is not done to hide their horrible, disgusting bodies, and it's pretty demeaning for you to assume that, which you do in most of these shots. You, you make it out like these girls are wearing makeup to hide how ugly they are, and that's absolutely not what they're doing, and you're shooting yourself in the foot because you're trying to make yourself look good by saying, oh, you don't need this makeup, you look fine without it, but in actual fact, you're kind of saying they do look bad without it. Girl is also trying way too hard. She put on like these fake eyebrows. She got way too dark lipstick. She made herself look like the, like the fakest person on earth. And now she has 5 million subscribers on YouTube. She put on these fake eyebrows. What? You mean she she's drawn on her eyebrows to make them slightly thicker. They barely look different. Yes, she's put on some eyelashes and some she's done some eye makeup. What what's wrong with that? I think her makeup looks pretty goddamn good, aside from the overbearing amount of foundation that does make her look a bit plasticky. But aside from that, like, what's wrong with this? Yes, she's we wearing makeup. Wow. God damn it. What a bitch. What an idiot. What a fool. This is ugly to ugly. That's it's very good. Like, what, what's. What are you What are you trying to achieve by saying stuff like that? At some point you have to admit you didn't win the genetic lottery and you just have to accept who you are because this is no, no bueno. One, an easy on that's a horribly demeaning thing to say. And two, you can see on the left, this is clearly a massively edited image. Like her eyes are a completely different shape and color. So you, comment, you can't really comment on this. And what a horrible thing to say. Sorry, just bad luck really, you're just a disgusting beast for the rest of your life. Oops. Good golly gosh. Anyway, you get the idea, he, go he goes on and on like this throughout the whole video and it's just horrible. It's a really horrible, 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 pointless video to make. And he does this a lot, and people don't really notice it. Yeah, you have the rate me videos that he doesn't really do anymore, but this is just as bad, in my opinion. He's basically just calling children ugly or idiots for wearing makeup. It's ridiculous. I'm glad this video has just over 8,000 views, and this is kind of what I was talking about <laughs> before. Yes, whilst he has millions of subscribers, he can barely get 10k views on a video. That's sometimes I get views like that. In fact, I quite, if I'm talking about Anisi or not other people like that, I do get views like that. So it's pretty embarrassing. Anyway, finally, um, I want to talk about a film called Velvet Buzzsaw. I'm planning on doing a bigger review of this, but I just want to give my thoughts on it. So, this is Dan Gilroy's second... Um, really inventive film after Nightcrawler. I will say Nightcrawler is a substantially better film than Velvet Buzzsaw, but I think critics have been pretty harsh when it comes to Velvet Buzzsaw. I think I'd, it clearly has a message about art. The film is basically about an art collection that gets discovered, and these people start selling this art and profiting from it. It's an artist called Dees. And it's all about how artists can be hypocritical when it comes to profiting from art. And I find that kind of commentary really interesting. Uh, it's all, it's kind of similar to the social commentary in Nightcrawler. It's about media that we watch, and it's about violence in media. I thought the message in Nightcrawler was it had a lot more depth to it, a lot more layers, and there was more you could gain from it. But Velvet Buzzsaw was clearly trying to be more uh, of a funny comedy kind of Coen Brothers type film. It had a very Coen Brothers feel to it. And as I say, Jake Gyllenhaal, I love him. He's great. He's a sexy, wonderful person. Um, we also have uh, Tony Collette, one of my favourite actors as well. She was the uh, lead actor in Hereditary. And I love Hereditary, as everyone in the world knows by this point. And it, it's, it's just a funny film about this art that <laughs> starts killing people. And I've got to say, the death scenes in this film are pretty spectacular. The, the real issue I have with it is that it starts off 
having quite an interesting um, message and meaning, but then it does go into just, you know, pretty standard horror cliches towards the end of it. But at least it's far more interesting than most other horror films that exist at the minute and the death scenes are done in a really fascinating interesting way um so i liked it a lot i liked it a lot i thought it was really funny i thought jake gyllenhaal is just brilliant again he plays a very eccentric character uh, called morph a very eccentric um art reviewer art critic and he does it in just the best way possible there is no one in the world that can play these roles as well as jake gyllenhaal can i love him i think he's great uh, i can't say enough about him anyway i say check it out it's on netflix for free right now if you want to go and see it um i just don't understand why people have been so harsh on it i don't think it was trying to be a an incredibly deep film it clearly wasn't by how silly it was but um i really liked it i thought it was good anyway that's my little spiel of today so thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed please do leave a like and subscribe if you want to help support me and my channel also if you want to go a step further than that i have a patreon link is in the description i, I seem to have lost a lot of patrons uh, patrons recently i think it's maybe because i'm not engaging enough with you guys and i'm sorry about that and uh, there's going to be another patreon exclusive video coming tomorrow so that will be coming and there's a this photo album I've been working on for quite some time as well. So, uh, also, The Cynical Critic, check it, check it out. Link will be in the description. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care now.